Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Tonight, I'm going to be building. <laughs> what? Code's going to be building? Crazy. I know. Um, so, I, I want to keep it in line with all this palm wood that I've used. So, I'm going to go up here and grab one of these for my palms. And then I'm just going to start building across, and hopefully. Hopefully it's going to be a good video. I don't know if it's going to be a good video. Uh-oh. I don't have... Here. I'll bring this over here. Because we don't need that right in the middle. We can we can do it over here. Right. Uh, right here. Like that. And um, I realized that I was doing it wrong last time. Last time I was... Wait, are these on ones? These are not ones. Uh, oh, there we go. One by ones. Um, I was putting the blueprints up there when I should have been uh, building them down here and then placing them up there. So I don't want to have to redo all of these, so I'm just going to go and delete them, uh, I think. Maybe, if I can, if I can get up there. Uh, oh, uh, hmm. Move. Okay. Boink. Uh-oh. Boink. There we go. B. And we'll just go delete these. Destroy. Uh oh. Come here. Destroy. Destroy. Jump. Whoa. There we go. And we'll just go all the way around it. Okay. So, that's good. So now we can just build up a bunch of floors, large floor tiles, like that. And we'll just keep going. Oh, oh, keep going, keep going, keep going. How, how many do you think it would take? Like 20? You know, 30? 30 of these? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's ten. So it looks like I could use two more here. And what? Two more here? Uh, three more. Three more. So that should be that should be thirty, right there. Uh, I don't know if I've got thirty pieces, but um, I know what you're thinking right now. Code, why don't you make a one by one? I could. I could. But I feel like the manual labor that goes into building this stuff, it's a it's a lot more character building. Because it's um once you're done building it, there's a huge appreciation for like, hey, I did that, you know. And if you don't have the build power and you still build mega build bases and, and mega walls and castles and stuff like that, that's a huge, huge undertaking. You know, so I do encourage you like try and get the power as fast as you can. Uh, if you need help, I highly recommend getting uh, ice trees, the frost frost trees, whatever whatever they call, permafrost, whatever. Oh, is that one too small? That one might be too small. Nope, it was good. But I don't think I'm gonna have enough wood. Oh man, we might have to get another another log over here. Happy. New Year, everyone. It's New Year's Eve right now, so um, if I don't get a chance to talk to you or if you've already had your Happy New Year, then, like, huge congratulations. I hope at uh, midnight you've shouted Jumanji and gotten this 2020 over and done with because I know I'm done with it. I am done with 2020. And I'm not going to jinx the next one by saying 2021's my year because, you know what, I, I would... Mm -mm. We're not, we're not going to jinx it. Not before we get there. Oh, lots of things are coming to, uh, into play. Change in president, uh, COVID vaccinations, a bunch of, a bunch of things. So it's scary to listen to the news, but I do it every single night. I, I like, whenever I'm taking a shower, I'm like, Google. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> so 
it's kind of scary when you're sitting here. Wait, is that is that? Yeah, that's good. Sitting here by yourself, and then you realize that um, the card table that you had played Dungeons and Dragons with your kids on fell over in the middle of the garage. <laughs> oh, that was scary. <laughs> So, I thought it was an intruder. I'm like, I'm, I'm armed. I've got a mouse. <laughs> oh, man. I, I fear for somebody actually coming into the house. Not, not so much for me or my family, but what I do to them. You know, I, I really do... <laughs> kind of scared as to like what I would do to someone because I, I don't know I don't know in that particular situation what I would do to an intruder that's scary because I know I know I could I could probably do a lot but <clears throat> I remember thinking back to like whenever I was younger and uh, every once in a while our house we, we lived way out in, not the suburbs, but it was rural area. And every once in a while, my mom or dad would forget to lock the, the front door, and then I would always be the first one to come home. So I remember a couple times I uh, would get home and the front door would be unlocked. I'm like, oh, that's scary, you know? And then I'd do something stupid, like call out to the middle of the house, like, hello? <laughs> If it's an intruder, do you think they're going to be like, Yeah, what's up? <laughs> no. no. And then I would say something even more stupid like, I got a gun! You know. and I know Kung Fu! I'd say stuff like that. But uh, I, I digress. Now, I really do. <laughs> I really do want a gun. I really do know Kung Fu. Well, not, not Kung Fu, but like combat training and... It's just, I don't know. I would feel I would feel sorry for someone who who attempted, and I don't I don't think they would do it on purpose. As far as like, I, I don't know. That is a very scary thing, and I would never wish anyone to run into me. <laughs> I would. Uh, that would not be good. Anyhow, what, what were we doing? Sorry, I'm talking about like scary things and stuff, but you know what? When it comes down to it, and when it comes down to talking about life and things in general, these are things that you guys will go through, you know, whenever you're teenagers or whenever you're out living on your own. And I've come to realize that my daughter, she had her birthday. She's 14 now, you know? And... I've been together with my wife for over 17 years. That's longer than a than the time that you spend in school. From from kindergarten all the way through uh, 12th grade, through senior, and four years of college. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, yeah, and a four-year college. So... I consider myself very lucky. Very, very lucky. I survived the Marine Corps. I survived school. I survived high school. And I went to the Marine Corps. I did corrections for nine years. You know? I've built a career in YouTube. I've had plenty of experiences throughout my life. And Ever since high school, it was always, you're, you're never going to be more than just a worker, uh, like a food line worker or something like that. It's always been this struggle because of my ADHD and because of my mind and everything else. And I just hate to think that people are out there today still trying to label people with ADHD as a dysfunction. If you have ADHD, you do not have a disorder. 
if anything, I would say you have an evolved brain, an evolved instinct to adapt and overcome, to learn faster from your experiences. Because there's, there's certain things that my mind does that I, I don't think my, my wife's would ever do. Memorizing all the lyrics to a song and like retaining that information for years after, afterwards. Years. Every line to a, a movie. The dialogue. Playing it over and over inside my own head. And just stuff like that. Just... I think there's a, a change, you know? And if you look at most of the people that create video games nowadays, and most of the Robloxian community, uh, by and large, has ADHD, you know? Or some form of, of mental disability. And I, I don't believe it to be a disability. I absolutely think that, yeah, we need help on test because we don't perceive the world in the same manner that most people do. Did I do that wrong? I, I did, didn't I? Oh, dang it. Now I'm going to have to go up here and fix it. Oh, 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 excuse me, excuse me. So wh what I'm saying is go out there and do what you want with your life. And don't let people put a label on you that restricts you to something. Uh, now I, I know I just said that we needed help with tests and stuff like that, but it's not it's not due to the fact that we're not paying attention. It's due to the fact that it's boring. You make us regurgitate the information without doing something fun. And this is this is kind of a message to teachers because I believe teachers are the foundation for the learning that we do. And if you have a child with ADHD, you have a, a brilliant person inside your class. They're not bad and they're not misbehaving on purpose. It's because we're bored. Um, I feel like school was simply there to teach us how to take information Retain it for a little while, regurgitate it onto a, a piece of paper. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then once we were able to regurgitate it, who who cares? We didn't we didn't retain the information. Most of the information that I learned in high school isn't the information that I use in my everyday stuff nowadays. The stuff that I use in my current job are the programming manuals that I'd pick up from the library. They were the practical application of writing a virus, you know, of creating a, a prog program, of creating uh, a Trojan horse, a backdoor, uh, learning how to hack. That's the stuff that nowadays has more value than reading the history or social studies and I hate to be that person I really do I hate to be that person to sit there and criticize schools for what they are but out of everything that's evolved within the last 200 years schools not one of them and 2020 has definitely shown you do not need to go to school to learn my kids are doing homeschooling now there is a big difference in between the social piece of school and the um, the learning portion of school because I see the same thing with my job I am much more efficient when I am by myself at my house not having to worry about getting up getting dressed going to work wasting the gas just to sit there inside an office and do the exact same thing that I can do here at my house on a computer that I love. Now, I will admit, I get a little bit distracted sometimes and there might be a YouTube video that pops up and I'm gonna watch the YouTube video, but you know what? The same thing would probably happen at work too. It's just, 
I, I don't know. It's it is a different beast. <sighs> I say different beast. It is, it is a different lifestyle, and we can live on social medias alone. Now, granted, it's probably not as healthy as having a friend to talk to in person, face to face. But at the same time, we have FaceTimes, we have Discords, we have all this technology, this wonderful stuff at our fingertips, ready to go anytime. So, feeling lonely? Yeah, sometimes we do. But is it something that we can talk about? Absolutely. Now, um, if I had been this socially inept, social uh, recluse <laughs> back whenever um, back whenever I was still in the Marine Corps, I don't think I would have met Liz. So that's that's a big thing. That's a big step in the right direction. But at the same time, everything matched up just right for us to meet in the way that we did. And if you haven't seen my um, draw my life video it tells the entire story of like how we met and where we were and my mom's death that's the hard one that's that's the ugh. i can't watch it sometimes that particular portion all right that's not working so we'll just put that up there and then we'll use this one here there we go so if you're looking for something to entertain you for about 15 minutes, go and check out my uh, Draw My Life. It's very good, I promise. You won't regret Won't regret it. I just realized, uh, this is going to be really dark once I put this all up, isn't it? Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and split this one in two, because I don't want to go past the line down there. 17 minutes. It's just pure building. Now, when it comes to uh, wood collecting and stuff like that, yeah, I don't wood collect anymore. <laughs> I've got more than enough to build with, and I've, I've got ideas and things to build with. Um, a lot of people are going to be doing end of the year videos that are releasing today, so it's like, let's remember the last year. I don't want to remember the last year. I don't care. Now, I do not care to remember anything that's happened in 2020 because there's been so much. Um, I do kind of feel bad for YouTube Rewind. I missed it. Like, well, I didn't miss it. it they didn't make it this year. So that's one of the things that I always look forward to is watching the Rewind. Because no matter which one it is, even the ones that like got the worst reviews, I still liked it because, you know, they, they had done something for us, but then after the fact, realizing what they had done, that is when I went back and I'm like, I dislike this. Only YouTube could get the most disliked, dang it, could get the most disliked video on YouTube. Only YouTube. And did you just hit the dislike button? If you're if you're still watching this, did somebody hit the dislike button? And if so, why? Do you really do you really dislike my channel that much that you come into each one of my videos and just hit the dislike for no apparent reason? I mean, there's always one, right? And it still shows engagement. So whether you liked it or whether you disliked it, thank you. Thank you for being here. gosh is that going to fit there's like a thin line Ooh, nice oh, oh, oh. <laughs> wow build skills I has them Is that yeah that's on the line is 
There's no drop that I'm blocking off, right? Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. And that's that piece over there. That's that's going to be interesting to try and cover that up. But a lot of people are asking, "Code, when are you ever going to finish your base?" I'm like, oh, "I don't know, 2021." <laughs> so, oh, I just realized this is the last video in the Lumber Tycoon 2 2020 series. I'm going to have to make a new playlist tomorrow. <sighs> feel sad, feel sad. Feel good, feel good, feel goods, the feel sads. No, it's a, it's a wonderful time to be alive. It's a wonderful technology. It's a wonderful uh, video gaming time. And I highly encourage you, if, you're, if you've not gotten into video game making, or if you're, if you're waiting for something, stop waiting. Go and learn. And I can tell you right now, there's plenty out there to learn. If you don't know where to start, start with Unity. Go get yourself uh, signed up for their classes. Unity3D.com or Unity.com and go and learn how to make video games. Okay, that's that's not going in there right. Hold on. Oof. Oof. Come on. Oh, snap. Man, that was awesome. Okay. I'm going to have to leave the tops off of these, aren't I? So, let's start back down at that other end. And how far along are we? We're at 22 minutes. We're good. We've got plenty of time, Code. Plenty of time. Wonder if I have plenty of palm wood. I might have to bring along Sam and get us some palm woods with uh, base number two. What I'll, what I'll do is I'll load in Sam and then use his sawmill. Code, how would you load in two avatars at one time? Well, I've got a bunch of different computers, so I just log in on a different PC and let them sit there for a little bit. May, might even run an auto it program to make him walk around and look like he's doing things, who knows. Oh, dang it, I missed. I hate it when I miss. You missed, what do you mean you missed? I missed. So, um, if there's anybody that's new to the channel, like you've never been here before, this is it. This is the content that I do. I play Roblox as a guise to speak about your emotions and speak directly to people, adults and children at the same time, and everyone. And just say, it's okay. Today's going to be a good day. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get out of here. You know, I, I, I just thought about it, and I need to go learn Unity myself. I'm up to, like, the advanced programmer something. Anyhow, or the next one is user interfaces, so I'm, I'm excited about that. And I love you. I love you guys. Thank you for making 2020 bearable, and thank you for being here. I hope, I hope I've entertained you throughout the entire year, and I do look forward to 2021. So... With the last episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 2020. Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.